exclamation everybody and welcome to onrush this is gonna be an interesting one to try to record because uh this is only uh, there was apparently supposed to be a pc version of this but uh i only could find a ps4 and an xbox one version um is an arcade racer and uh i say it's gonna be interesting to record because First of all, I haven't played any of it yet. I just I just played the tutorial, so I, I kind of get an idea of what what's going on here. But the um, music is going to be problematic, so I may end up trying to do something with the music. I'm not I'm not sure what yet. In fact, I think maybe I will uh, turn the music off entirely, um, so we don't end up getting dinged on the YouTube's for it, because it all sounds like it's rather. Uh, <laughs> rather co copyright it so uh without further ado let's jump in and see what this is all about uh superstar quick play ranked custom game training all right i did the training um <clears throat> i guess i'll go do superstar i guess and four of six events available in origins okay see this you could say it's a spoiler, but you will be right here, giving it everything you've got to be immortalized as the very first champion of the Onrush Founders Trophy. You can relax. We ain't spoiling nothing. Because it's not the outcome, it's how y'all get there. Onrush started as nothing more than a bunch of friends, mutual thrill seekers, kicking back against a few rules that started grinding motorsport down. Hey. I ain't hatin', just telling you how it happened. We cool? Quick heads up, this isn't racing. This is a high-speed stampede, so we don't worry about track violations or a little contact. We encourage that behavior all day long, baby. Now, they never plan to take over the world, but seems like you can't stop a good thing from being a big thing. So, here we are, right at the start. Strip back to its punk rock basics, set to the sweetest of summers. Perfect conditions for these 12 founders to kickstart Onrush into life and start writing history. Unfortunately, there's also no subtitles either, so you couldn't hear her talk about the history of Onrush. You didn't miss much. Basically, it's what they're saying here is the game is not about placing first it's about just doing crazy crazy stuff so let's see how this how this works out shall we overdrive is on rush distilled to its purest form drive with style and aggression take down your rivals get huge air and take risk to earn boost then burn it off to add points to your team the winning team will be those that can earn and spend boost the fastest. Get familiar with each ride's unique abilities, because making the most of them could be the difference between winning or kicking yourself when you get beaten to the punch. Word to the wise, the best drivers can chain those boosts together to earn points like a round-stealing grandmaster. Overdrive. Okay, so everything to do here is basically, uh, I mean, they have match challenges, it was win the match, but uh, it's really, you're just chaining your boosts together and getting as many, um, what they call, on rushes as possible. So that's basically take out as many as many uh, other cars as you can and uh, try and, I guess I don't have any other vehicles to select, huh? Not letting me choose anything else, so I guess that's all that we're, we're Doing with that in here. Interceptor. Uh, it'll be easier if I kind of show it, I guess. Pinpoint. Drive tight and add to your rush tank every time you're a whisker away from wrecking. Surge. Pack a little punch to your boost and deliver a knockout blow. Rampage. Keep the onslaught going as every takedown refills your rush gauge. Sometimes you need a sledgehammer solution. Hammer solution. Boost and rush to earn points for your team. 
Alright, looks like we are the blue team. So we don't want to hit anybody who's in blue. We want to hit all the people who are in orange, though. Because that will give us boost. Ah, uh, we don't want to wreck. <laughs> definitely don't, definitely don't want to wreck. Um, but you do get like, if you come close to wrecking, like going through trees and stuff like that, you get more boost out of it and all that stuff. Alright. And... Oh, out of bounds. <laughs> okay. I couldn't even I couldn't even stop that. It was just going way out there. It is also multiplayer. So that was up and wrecked. <laughs> and wrecked. Um, it is multiplayer. I don't know if I'm playing against actual pit players now or bots. It looks like possibly bots because they all have regular sounding names. So, oh, what is what is going on here? Oh, that hit me from above. Okay. So. I'm already sucking a lot, but this is interesting. All right, I got an on rush here. So we'll see what this does for me. You can see it building back up again down below. Ah, these trees. These trees. <laughs> so many, so many problems. The uncolored cars you can actually hit at any time for extra boosts and all that. And let's go, go, go. Come on, come on. That's. I'm not really hitting those ramps correctly. There's one. We finally took one down. Oh, and I'm not hitting the walls correctly either. Oh crap! <laughs> Just, <laughs> I don't know. That went. That went disastrously wrong. Can't take one of them out. Still got a victory apparently. Three versus one. So yeah, that's that's a thing. <laughs> I I don't know what else to, what else to make of it. it it's certainly um, very uh, certainly a lot of uh, stuff going on there. Uh, whether or not it's Exciting or not is another is another story here. We uh we just go to the next level instead of doing all that nonsense. Uh level one. Alright, 150 XP to the next level, okay. Oh well, that's fine. I don't know what crash tags or anything. I don't know what any of this means, they're just throwing all kinds of stuff at you. Daily challenges, okay, so we see what they have there. So can I let's that's the beginning, then overdriven. Let's try that one. 
Uh, near ally callouts. I don't know what that means. Select a vehicle. Dynamo is the only one we're allowed to select. Okay. Dynamo. For when you're in a real giving kind of mood. Unite. Stay extra close to your teammates to top up your rush tank. Restock. Share the wealth by dropping boost pickups for your team. Sharing is caring, and you care the most. Energize. Hit rush and become a high speed boost hotspot for any teammate wise enough to be nearby. Spread the love. Fuel their speed. Alright, so every car has some different uh, power ups that you can use and different different roles they play. Uh, this is interesting. Alright. Volcano Lake, next event. Boost and rush to score. Go! Never skip leg day. Right away with the takedown. Right freaking away. Oh, come on here with this. Hard for me to tell even what I'm what I'm actually doing and who I'm who I'm hitting and not hitting. Yeah. Get all my so when you're rushing this one, it gives speed to all of your teammates that are around you. Okay. Damn it. Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like. I feel like the, uh, for as, as fast as it's supposed to be, it's, uh, I feel like the frame rate is not doing well here. Like something, something's up where it just doesn't feel particularly smooth or anything like that. Oh, and we've been taken down. Great. I wish I could turn that off. I don't really need to see that. <laughs> I would rather just get back in the vehicle. going with that boost and another victory again with somehow I don't, I don't I'm not entirely sure how I haven't quite figured out how they're scoring the game <laughs> for all the like tutorials the game tries to give you it actually doesn't actually tell you how the game itself tends to work I, I didn't even notice that. So they put that like icon there. You can rush. 
in a place where you can't even barely see it. I mean, it's right in the middle of the screen, true, but still, it's like you're not looking right there down the middle bottom. You're looking in the middle top here. Oh, oh, uh, and wrecked. And we won again somehow. <laughs> won every every section of that course. I'm not sure how that's how that's supposed to work. Really not. Somehow I got MVP, even though that was I kept spawning in and dying. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what's let's see what's up with that. Um. I've earned a gear crate. Okay. Our takedowns. Oh, it's just it. All right. Three bronze medals. Huh. Um. Yeah. All right. Open gear crates. What? What do I get in there? Great, I guess. Oh, these are different skins, I guess. What it's saying there? All right, that's fine. Um, let's go on to the next one. Uh, right now, it's not really uh, not really blowing my skirt up. Countdown honestly. is simple, but let me lay it out. See your team's timer? That's ticking down, and it ain't stopping. Unless you and your team can pass through the gates to top it up. If you want to have time your side, you want to get through those gates trouble-free. Put it this way, if you run out of time, it's a point to the other team, and we don't want that now. So, do everything within your power to get ahead. And if the opportunity arises, push these fools out of the way. So when it comes down to it, one gate might be all that separates you. Oh, I see. Alright, so this one is... Countdown. Every checkpoint you get gets it gives your team Select a point. A vehicle. Okay. I have two vehicles now, Dynamo and Interceptor. Um, rushing supplies nearby teammates with boost. I mean, this seems like the best one for the Dynamo, right? Uh, rush directly from driving, earn rush directly from driving near teammates. Yeah, this seems like the correct one for that, for this event type, I imagine. Dynamo. All right, drive through the gates. trees somehow. Alright, rush. Let's do it. Oh, let's not hit trees while we rush. Oh, crap. That's crazy. I like that you could also change your vehicle mid midstream here, too. That's rather nice. Come on. 
Come on. I'm trying to actually hit a bunch of these orange guys, but they're not uh, not so easy to catch up to the hits. Oh, for crying out loud. When you, putting that rush on Y is really cumbersome because it's like... It's like you're trying to... Uh, yeah, we lost by three seconds, huh? Okay. That guy out. That one. I seem to really catch up to these guys here. Like I'm boosting is uh, I've been basically holding down the boost button the whole time. Go. That and knocking their guys down a little bit. Trying to keep it on the road here, which as I can. Yep. Yep. This does not look good. That was a thing. <laughs> that was certainly a thing. It's it's hard to hard to commentate and also uh, try to focus on this thing because. Like I said, they're throwing things at you left and right here. And we're apparently losing again. Yep. Well, that was a that was a thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else we could have done to, to, to not lose that. That's for sure. Um, most gates hit. I had most gates hit. Fifty-eight callouts. I don't know what the callouts are. I really don't. They didn't. They didn't actually explain that in the tutorial. That's what's that's what's weird. <laughs> they didn't explain in the tutorial what a, what a call out is or how you do it. I guess it's one of these other buttons I haven't used yet. I, I don't know. Um, let's continue. Let's try. Uh, let's try out guns, and then we'll come back to evolved again. So both countdown things. Oh, this one we can only use Vortex on. All right, let's do that. Vortex. Built for maximum disruption and punishing all in your wake. Spiral. Land barrel rolls to add to your rush tank and get the edge on the opposition. Touchdown. Hit the ground running with enhanced boost landing. It's built for getting ahead. Turbulence. Activate Rush to leave a volatile wake of disruption behind you. Get in front and watch them fall. Okay, well that's interesting. Let's see what this shakes out to be like. Driving this one.
drive through the gates. All right, driving through the gates again. If I took out one of my own teammates with that, or if that was a computer I took out. But in any event, keep uh, keep all moving here. I was landing all kinds of barrel rolls before by accident. Let's see if I can land some now on purpose. <laughs> Answer that is no. Answer that is is obviously no. So far, it's only been these two tracks too, which is weird. Kind of uh, kind of old <laughs> in that regard. I can't even I can't get my I can't get my guy to, to stay like once you start once you start uh, um, sliding in this thing when you start drifting this thing you can't recover hold on to the rush until we get ahead of some of these guys Apparently now we're, we're winning this time around. Alright. Not quite now I'm way on front. <laughs> do now. There we go. Let's knock some of these guys for loop here. few of them but it's not working out there we go so say hitting all the the fodder cars but not really getting a leg up on the on the other team here Somehow, <laughs> this is, these have to be like bots or something because it's not, uh, <laughs> it's, it's very wildly inconsistent here, especially if I'm coming out as the MVP, that's definitely, definitely going up against bots. All right. Okay, we got that stuff, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I I can see that this might be a little bit of fun, but it's not uh 
It's really not uh, doing much for me. <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, it doesn't help that they just keep rehashing the same two maps here. Let's see, Blast Run? Overdrive. What is this? Chain Boost and Rush to Earn Points. Okay. So that's what that is. Select a vehicle. All I could do is select a charger for it. All right, so I guess we're selecting the charger. Charger. They can't run, they can't hide. This one is built for the hunt. Daredevil. Hound your rivals to fast track your rush tank. Airstrike. Like an air to ground missile, they won't want to be in your sights. It's got inbuilt air superiority. Bulldoze. Activate your rush ability to front load your brutality and become an unstoppable wrecking force. Bring back! Line them up! Knock them down! All right, so this one's got, every time we land, we do a nice little blast around us. That might be good. Boost and rush to score. Okay. It's all about boosting and rushing. And not getting taken down. Alright. Back in there again. Ooh, that was that was not a thing that I could do. That was that was not a a proper ramp for me to take. And down there. Come on, come on, come on. got taken down. Damn. I thought I took somebody else down. They're like, nah, nah. That's not how that works. <laughs> I got, all you did was just drive straight. I thought there was supposed to be like a thing that happens that when I, when I land, maybe I have to hit a button or something. Do it. Go. Time and I gotta rush. Uh, charge up here. Let's go for it. Damn it! It's like how am I supposed to? <laughs> no matter which way I pick, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad for us. I didn't even hit anything. Jeez Louise. Back in action. If you're wondering, am I am I having fun or not? I don't really know, honestly. I'll be totally honest though, it's kinda, it kinda feels, it feels like there's fun to be had here. I'm just not, uh, not feeling it right now, honestly. Just kinda, it does some things, and not particularly well uh, at it. Like I said, it, it does things, but not particularly well. 
Um, the frame rate feels like it's not there. I mean, it might be 60, but it really doesn't feel very good. Oh, come on with that. Like, it doesn't feel like it's got a smooth frame rate. You know, it probably does. I think a lot of it has to do with the the camera shake when things go on here. Just making it feel like it's not particularly smooth in its handling of things. that round. I guess it's win. Best of, best of three, I guess. Let's rush through here. See how this works. There was a train there. I don't think I saw it this every time we were going by here. Well, lots of jumps. Not a lot of time in the air, but not a lot of time actually scoring points. Victory three three to one I guess. Yeah, it do it doesn't feel particularly good. I I mean, again, it, it, yeah, the controls don't feel that particularly good. It doesn't the game doesn't feel that particularly immersive? It's I I don't know. I I'm I'm really torn about this because on the one hand it's it looks like, in theory, this is one of those games that's like, in theory, it should be fun, but in practice, it's not. <laughs> it's just missing something, um, which is weird, because there's a lot going on there. It's just, it doesn't, f I don't know, it's not, it's not really, it's not really doing anything for me, I guess. Is uh, at the end of the day. I mean, oh, we got we got some crates open. Like, big deal, right? Um, trick and some tombstones. Okay. And at level five now, my character is, but still, I yeah. There's nothing particularly here that I can say that I can point to and go like, that's what's wrong with it. It's like, it's just not, uh, I don't know, I'm just not finding it particularly compelling. Titan shell, armadillo, equipped, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, there's nothing like particularly that I can like point at and say, this is why this game is not fun. It's just... It just doesn't, uh, the, some of the, the some of the parts just don't seem to really make the game particularly compelling for me. Um, let's play with, I guess we'll do one more. Select a vehicle. Oh, we got the charger and the vortex. Um, let's go with the charger. Charger. And there is like, you know, obviously there's co-op and, well not co-op, but, you know, 
multiplayer and stuff in here, but uh, still, I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't feel particularly compelling to me right now. This is one of those games I think it's it would have to grow on me for a while. Like I'd have to play Drive through the gates. I think I have to play several hours of it before I can finally go like, yeah, no, I, I get it now. Right? This is that's one of the hard things with doing like a, a first impressions thing, is that it's like sometimes you come across a game like this that's nothing's particularly wrong with it, but nothing's particularly right with it. And you feel like it's you need to uh you really just need more time with it before you can finally, like, quantify what is, what's going on. And that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. I was like, I can't really, I have no words. <laughs> there are no words that I have right now that would adequately describe the level of meth that <laughs> I am feeling at the moment for it. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing... Like I said, there's nothing wrong. Uh, yeah, I've come to a stop. There's nothing really right either. I mean, it's nice we got we got a new, uh... We got a new track, or a new track here. Which is good. It's good to finally see some new tracks. But... Uh, I... Yeah. The tracks are... I don't know. The, the tracks are a little bit boring, maybe. Uh, I mean, they're very. Maybe not boring is not really the right word. The, the tracks are abstract enough. I mean, they make sense, but they're abstract enough that they are not memorable. You know what I mean, like when you play like like a kart racer or something like that, you tend to get these tracks that are. That stick with you. They're very um, sort of memorable things. Um, nothing about this game so far has been particularly memorable. Like nothing about the tracks. Nothing about the cars. I mean, the cars are. But the only thing memorable about them is that they're. They have these. They're all like. They're like classes, basically. They're like. They have different power-ups. Different classes of power-ups. go. Let's use our rush. Let's go forth and hit all these. There we go. I finally hit somebody. The other thing is, too, I'm finding it really difficult to actually hit the other team. You know, they're not finding it similarly difficult to hit me. And I don't know if there's just... Like, normally in a, in a game, I would turn motion blur and stuff off because it just makes it so hard to see what the heck you're doing. I feel like there's a lot of it in this game. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of it's not motion blur, maybe it's something else entirely, but it just it feels like it feels almost a little bit blurry. You know, like like I can't really I can't really focus my eyes on any one particular thing. And as I'm driving here. And then I also am finding it nigh impossible to, to get these, like, takedowns. Like, it's... Like, you would think, you know, on a game that re relies on you doing takedowns and stuff like that, that they would make it easy to do that. And they make it easy on the fodder, but they don't make it easy with the other team. Which also kind of makes it uh, sort of anticlimactic when your team wins here because it's like, well, that's great. Like, yeah, we got a victory. Like, oh, what do you do? It's like, I, I didn't do anything except just keep driving and trying to stay on the road. Um, you know, it doesn't feel like, and when you lose, it doesn't feel like you could have done anything differently to win either. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, it's a bit. The whole thing is a bit a bit strange. 
I'd say. You have this sort of career mode where you're leveling up and things are getting gear crates, but which is nice. I mean, it's nice to have some progression and stuff in a game like this, but yeah, it's still not, uh, uh, yeah, it's just not, it's just, just not feeling it for some reason, folks. Just not feeling it. I don't know why. It's very, very strange. Because I usually like these types of games. And this one's just not, not doing it for me right now. Um, so let's get, out of there, and uh, I guess, I mean, we've done everything except for that evolved one. It's the only one we haven't, we haven't won with. Um, but, yeah, I don't feel any particular necessity to go and, and do more right now. So, um, 275 out of 300, so we need that extra 25 to do that, and then we, we're done with that, and then it's... Uprising, which actually I could do now. Um, four out of eight events. How many do we have here? 3,400 for that. So a couple different event areas. I mean, maybe that's why, you know, Origins was like, they were always using, reusing the same maps because it's like the same event area, which is, is okay. But again, the maps are like, Forgettable, you know what I mean? They're not really; they don't really stand out. Then you've got the quick play. You've got ranked, which is not even in the game yet. You got custom game, and then the training, and that's it. So obviously, they're they're focusing on the multiplayer aspect of it. Um, but I. This has barely gotten any press. I mean, I found out about it from uh, from a uh, um, what should we call it? Uh, an article, but it was like the first article that I had ever read where I actually heard about this game. So I don't think this game got really a whole lot of press. This is actually by uh, I believe by Codemasters, um, and even the article was like, "Oh, it's going to be out on PC and everything." And I looked, and it was like, "No, it's just out on Xbox One and PS4." So. I I don't know. It doesn't feel like it has any. It doesn't feel like it has any soul <laughs> in it. You know what I mean? It's just kind of. I could see it being a fun distraction, especially with friends, but um, not very memorable. Not not a very very memorable one. So, I think we'll just end it there, friends. And uh, that's my my look at uh, on rush. Like I said, it is by Codemasters, I believe, and it's on. Uh, PS4 and Xbox One. I believe it also has a 4K mode, so you have the Xbox One X. Uh, you can take advantage of that, um, or the PS4 Pro for that matter. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll as always, I'll leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.